Hello there everybody. Tonight we're going to start some seeds. I need to start some uh, cherry tomatoes, berry wine tomatoes, and well, something else. I'll find something else, but I need to get some seeds going, so here's how we do it. First we start off with a bucket of water. Generally it should be dechlorinated water from your uh, either RO or you've been dechlorinating naturally. We'll go over that in another video. So first you want to do is check your pH. And you want it to be between 5.5 and 6. I'll zoom in here. Oops. My water is about 7.4. So what we want to do is we're going to add some pH down. You can buy this online or at your uh, local hydroponic shop. I'll put a link up to this on the blog to uh, where you can find this online on Amazon. But we have very little water here, so we don't need a lot of this. But we're going to put a little squirt in there. Stir it up. And then we'll recheck. It's actually better if you wait a little while to recheck. It looks like we actually put too much in there. So what you do in that case, you either use pH up or add in some more water that you haven't treated till you get it back up to 5.5. That's the tricky point around. I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes, recheck again, and then uh, adjust as needed. Okay, after fiddling a little bit, I went out the shed and grabbed the pH up to bring it back up since I used too much down. And now we got it. And it's dropping to 5.8. That works. Oh, 5.7 works even better. So the next step is what we need is we call Rockwell cubes. There's three here. Oh, there goes my kitty. Mango. Alright, back to the Rockwell Cubes. It actually comes in a big package. Let's see if I can do this. I am shooting this with an iPhone, so I need to get a better video camera. Here's a package of your Rockwell Cube starter plugs. I already have a few here kind of broken up, so we're just going to put them in there and let them soak for a half hour to an hour. Anything that's enough for tonight. Alright, welcome back. Sorry I went and watched Doctor Who for a while. So these have actually been soaking for about an hour and a half or so. Which is quite alright. Next you're going to need is a seed tray. This is a tray that actually holds the Rockwell cubes perfectly. It has a lid to keep all the moisture and humidity inside. We also have a heating pad underneath. This is a heating pad made just for seeds. It's about $25 at your local hydroponic store or you can probably find it online cheaper. I already got some cucumbers here which will be moving out to the their system in the next couple of days once I finish it. And we got some spinach coming up here. Some of it's slow and I might have to start them over again, but let's get back to the task at hand. What you want to do now is bring out your cubes and shake them off a little bit. Do not squeeze them. You want all that moisture in there. And just populate your tray. Just like such. I added those in there. There's about 12 or so. Can't count. Next is to put your seeds in. Um, this is what I'm working on tonight. A yellow pear tomato, brandy wine tomato, red cherry, and I'm going to try some cantaloupe melon. See how the deck grows hydroponically. And all you want to do is take a couple of seeds, maybe one or two, and put them in the holes. 
of each one. I put in a couple just in case one doesn't sprout. And then once they do sprout, you can pick the strongest and weed out the weakest. Let's push those down in there. We might do a pencil. See, that's three. I'm only going to do four of those guys. And then next, you want to you make sure to pinch down. Is when I either pinch the hole closed. So it could be a little more difficult. Or you can take a little piece off the corner. And just kind of push it on there. You don't want to make it real tight. You want the seed to be able to pop out. And you'll continue to do that right on down the line once you get them all in. All right, we're back, and I went ahead and seeded all my cubes there. And I also made a little chart and a piece of paper. It's a little cheaper than putting buying tabs in there. I also put this into my iPad. So we have our yellow pear tomatoes, our berry wine tomatoes, our cherry tomatoes, our melons, and I went ahead and redid the spinach because I checked them out and they weren't growing except for these couple ones here. That happens at times, especially if you have if you have a heating pad. Be sure you mist every couple days or once or twice a day. Get some water in there with a mister or spray bottle, and then once they start sprouting, we get a couple inches of growth there and some roots popping out. We'll move them to the hydro system. Just close it up, and then you need to provide a grow light. That will provide uh, 12 to 16 hours, maybe a little bit more. You don't have to go out and buy a special light for, uh, I'm going to shut this off, but you don't have to buy a special one for the seedlings. It's just a Home Depot light with a color balanced CFL, balanced for 6500. So there you go, daylight 6500. And you just put that on there for 12 hours or a little bit more a day. And if you're starting from fresh seeds, you really don't need the light on until they sprouts start popping. Save yourself some electricity there.